Hello Yellowstone fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. We're going to break away from forensics just a little bit to tell a story, a tale from the trench. And if there's one thing I know, it's that everybody's got a story. Kevin, uh, I want to keep learning stuff. Well, you can learn from the stories. And so I'm going to tell you a story of a case I worked and you can decide how you would have done things differently or, or changed things. Uh, I get a call from an investigator uh, working for a defense team. Uh, a lady's been charged with murder. Let me set the stage. Uh, for many, many years, her husband comes home in a drunken stupor, beats her severely. Uh, there's more than enough hospital records over the years uh, to support this. One day he comes home drunk. They get in a big fight. He gets her down, uh, sitting on top of her, uh, kind of half in and half out of the closet in their bedroom, pulls uh, one of six registered firearms uh, that were registered to him uh, out and uh, shoves it in her mouth and uh, threatens to kill her. Then he pulls it out of her mouth and shoots a hole in the floor beside her head, which will become important later. Somehow this all blows over, calms down a bit, and he passes out in bed. Uh, about an hour later, Mama decides she's had enough and is concerned because she's got two young children that are just reaching their teenage years and she's afraid that they're going to become a target of him as well. So she pulls out that same registered firearm in the house and she pops one into his coconut while he's sleeping. And then she calls 911 and tells them what she did. Uh, of course, uh, fire, ambulance and police show up, fire and ambulance getting there first, and uh, so they try to resuscitate him, find out that, of course, there's no chance, and uh, turn the scene over, and that's the end of that. Uh, the police come in, and they start investigating this. And uh, somebody, uh, a couple of hours or so into the investigation, uh, after they've arrived on the scene, decides that, wait a minute, shouldn't we be cataloging this somehow, like taking pictures? And they decide, yeah, that's a good idea. So they start taking pictures of the scene. Now you might be wondering, what's this got to do with digital forensics? Well, th that's to come because this does play into it. So they start taking pictures of the scene. They take a bunch of pictures of the scene. They seize the computers in the house and they send the computer to the state uh, uh, forensics lab for analysis. So what do we see when we get involved? Well, you're going to have to wait for the next episode to uh, hear about that. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.